This episode of the Slipcast is brought to you by the Mad Canadian Barbecue Company. Mad Canadian Barbecue Company is an Ohio-based company where they say our seasoning will take your barbecue from good to great. Uh, Mad Canadian will be back at the OLC Shrine Cafeteria next Thursday in Cary, Ohio from 4 to 7 o'clock for some barbecue and bingo. Again, next Thursday, OLC Shrine Cafeteria for some more of that delicious barbecue and fun bingo. Be sure to check out his social media, Facebook and Twitter. For more information about him and his food truck and where he'll be heading to next. Mad Canadian Barbecue Company, who are the official barbecue of the Cary High School Blue Devils. This episode of the Sloopcast also brought to you by the Iron Bean Coffee Company. The Iron Bean Coffee Company is an Ohio-based coffee roaster. All over the beans are fair trade certified and USDA organic. I forgot the A. Um, USDA organic, which means your beans are of the both the best quality possible from a flavor from a flavor standpoint, but also the best quality possible from a moral standpoint, making sure that all of the farmers and everyone through the entire supply chain are created or created are um, treated fairly, including you, the customer, by ensuring you're getting the freshest possible coffee. Um, free shipping over $50 gift cards available. Subscribe and save is available. Uh, once again, you're supporting a veteran owned Marine owned company based on integrity. You're, you're, you're putting your money into a good place. So you can find your new favorite coffee over at ironbeancoffee.com. That is Iron Bean Coffee, America's local coffee roaster. What is up YouTube? Um, I would say what's up discord, but we are recording this very, very late at night. And I think our, I think our live chat is empty. Uh, Kyle's on the road still. So, uh, we're recording this one pretty late. So, and that's also why his, his voice is uh substandard at the moment. Yeah. yeah. That, that, gotta, that, gotta that headset with... mic, that headset mic, it isn't as good as your studio mic, is it Kyle? No, no, it's not. So let's, let's go ahead and jump right into it for some, for some um, weekend preview. Absolutely. We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Uh, to be honest, Jared, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I'm on the road all this week for, for real life work, but... Hey, I'm I'm willing to take some of this time here and get ready for this some great um, college football this weekend. Kyle, the pressing uh, question, doing, the pressing question that we all need answered right away uh, on the Monday episode: Will you have your actual studio microphone back? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, I will. Okay. That headphone, that headphone microphone, man. But we'll we'll be we'll be back on the good equipment starting Monday. So uh, bear with us while while Kyle has to has to do the real life work uh, to supplement this uh this fun hab ha habit. I was saying habit, which I don't know is wrong. Um, hobby that we do here. So yeah, let's uh let's let's get right into it. Kyle, we're picking seven games against the spread. Uh, we already picked the Ohio State game. Uh, our guest picker this week, our homie Suncard19. You can follow him on Twitter, Suncard19. Um, he picked Kyle. He he did he did get a. If you joined us on the uh, Thursday episode, he didn't get a final score to us. Um, but so he he has corrected that. He has gotten a final score to us. He has uh, Ohio State winning forty four to seventeen. That is forty four to seventeen. All right, so if you want to hear Kyle and I's thoughts on the Ohio State versus Michigan State game, go go and uh, listen to that Thursday episode. Uh, but uh, I, to quick summarize, I picked Ohio State to win and cover. Suncard has picked Ohio State to win and cover. Uh, Kyle? I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did pick Ohio I State to I'm win. Wrong. You did pick them to win. I did. But not to cover. Correct, yes. All right, right. Kyle, first let's game. Go, let's go and... Yeah, first game on the docket here, Ohio State. I already said Ohio State. Kyle, it's late for both of us, my man. It is late for both of us. Uh, we have Wake Forest versus Clemson, a game in which Clemson gets to play the disruptor. Clemson gets to play. No, 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 the... so... 
Yeah, not something we're quite used to, though. But Clemson just having it down year here. But man, look, Clemson's playing better these past few weeks here. So I can't blame Vegas for picking Clemson to be favorites here. But Wake Forest offense, though, it's it's hard to stop Wake Forest. Granted, the teams they played, though, but still, it's it's a it's a great um, offense compared to the national scope here. And for me, Jared, I, I, I think that's, I think that might be enough to beat Clemson here. Uh, we saw, we saw throughout the year, Clemson struggling to move the ball, score points and wake Forest the far opposite, able to score points on a limb here. So I'll, I'll take wake Forest in here. If you're, you're giving, you're giving three and a half here. Yeah. I'll, I'll take, pick the demon Deacons. I'm I'm going to I'm going to go with Clemson here. I think they're looking to salvage their season. I think they're trying to at least from a perception standpoint salvage their season. You know, they they had a horrible start to the year, but they they've been on a winning streak uh since losing to Pitt um uh, about a month ago. You know, they they not not that Florida State, Louisville or or Yukon are all that good and not that they won any of those games outside of the Yukon game and it was Yukon, right? Not, you know, won any of those games impressively. But I think they can win this game. And I but I do think it's close. I think that three and a half's a really good number. Um I think they win this. I think Clemson wins this game. I think it's last second, but is probably I would say about I say they win about by about six points. Six or seven points. That, that's that's my call for Clemson. Okay. All right. Well, I think Clemson is going to have to score a lot of points. So maybe we'll see another shootout like Wake Forest did against uh, against UNC here. Kyle, we we officially have a sloop cat in the chat even at this late hour. Uh, Austin has has joined us. Uh, uh, Sun card picks Wake Forest. He says, "Let's kick Clemson while they are down." Smart man. Smart man. All right. Uh, so next up here, Jared, we have Iowa State taking on Austin, Oklahoma. I dropped the chimichanga tweet, or not tweet, the Discord message. I dropped the chimichanga Discord message, my man. Turn your alerts on. All right, next up here, Oklahoma taking on Iowa State. New game also on Fox. Oklahoma is a four and a half point favorite. I tell you, this is the, this is the type of game I I feel. I feel that the Cyclones want to be. I I, I feel like this is the makings for the Cyclones to really uh, upset Oklahoma here. I I really do. I mean, we've seen how un Oklahoma like they've been throughout the season, and I I like I like the Cyclones here. Four and a half points. Yeah, I would take the Cyclones here actually. Oddly enough, I am too. Um, and to me, this is a pick the underdog situation. Um, I'm just going to, I think this game feels very in my mind. It feels very 50, 50, maybe a mm-hmm. slight edge to Oklahoma as far as winning the game, maybe more of a 60, 40, but four and a half points, which, you know, as we've talked about, a bunch, you know, there's a big difference between four and a half and two and a half. Maybe if it was two and a half, I'd take Oklahoma at four and a half. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Iowa state. It gives me enough of a buffer that should they lose by a field goal. uh, I I feel good. I feel good about taking Iowa state at, at four and a half points here, especially considering I think they, they have a really good chance of, of winning this game. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, you're giving more than a field goal. Yeah. I agree. What does Suncard say? Uh, Suncard says Oklahoma. He says if this game was being played in Iowa, dot 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 dot, which is which is a good point. That's you know Ames is a place where seasons go to die historically on many occasions. They're kind of the Purdue of the Big Twelve, uh, but uh, that's not the case. This is being played in Oklahoma. So, yep. Nope. Ab- absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Next up, next up here, Jared, we have Virginia taking on Pittsburgh. 
3.30 kickoff time here. Pittsburgh is a 13 and a half point favorite. You know, I'm, I'm going to stick with how I've always felt about Pittsburgh and I might've been wrong most of the time, but I'm <laughs> still going to stick to it. I'm still going to stick to it here. I'll pick Virginia to cover here. I'll pick Virginia to cover just my gut feeling. I don't really have a rhyme or reason. I'm just going to go with Virginia. I, I think that's a good call. Um, and and not because I think Virginia has a chance to win this game because I, I, I don't, I don't think they have a great chance of winning this game. Um, I, I just think that 13 and a half is a little bit big for me. That's, that's really it. Mm-hmm. 13 and a half just feels a little big. Um, you know, yeah, I mean, let's, I mean, let's take Duke I'll as s- an example. Uh, Pitt played Duke just a couple weeks ago and they won that game by 15 points. And while I don't think Virginia is good, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying like, hey, Virginia's actually really good. They are better than Duke, right? I think they're more than a couple points better than Duke. Um, I, they're not very bad, Zach. I know. you, Austin, Austin, I, I said the opposite. I said the opposite of that. Virginia's a, they're a team. What do you want me to say? They're a middle of the road ACC team in a year in which the ACC is basically all middle of the road. Um, no, no, none of that guys. None of that guys. But my point is, is that it's just 13. I would, I would be more comfortable at about nine and a half. I think nine and a half would be about where I would have to take pit at here to feel comfortable. Yeah, I mean, Austin brings up a good point. It's still not going to sway me from changing my picks here, but when in doubt, take the quarterback. And and pick and Pickett's been having a great year, as Austin Austin says here in the chat here. But yeah. you know, I, I'm yeah, I'm going to stick with Virginia. I'll stick with Virginia. I'm not changing it. I'm not going to. I'm not cheating here or anything. So I'm I'm going I'm going to I'm still sticking with Virginia. Are you insinuating that I'm cheating? No, Jared, never. All right. Well, let me. All right. <laughs> here's the thing. This isn't. This is not like anti Kenny Pickett. I've been Kenny Pickett bandwagon for a while now. And it has more to do with Pitt's defense. I think. I, I think this game realistically ends up being like forty-two to thirty-two. I think I feel like is approximately where this game lands. That's still a good win for Pitt. It's still a comfortable win for Pitt, but it's. It doesn't cover 13 and a half points. You know, Austin, I'm tired of your crap. I'm, I'm, you know, I, I don't know why y'all always got to be team Kyle down there. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what all of that's about. All right. All right. We're, we're, let's, let's move on to the next game oh, here. Don't, you forgot Arkansas. about Sun Card. You forgot about Sun Card. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Sorry about our homie Sun Card. Apologize. What does what is, what is Sun Card say? He says Jared likes the Steelers, and that's the only reason he's picking Pitt. <laughs> you know. What a I, guy. What a, yeah, what a <laughs> guy. We're getting some Sun Card love in the chat. I'm not reading that one, yeah. Austin. The... <laughs> <laughs> all right all right all right let's get on to our next game here arkansas taking on alabama 3 30 of course this is on cbs here uh alabama is a 20 and a half point favorite this isn't the same alabama that we're used to in previous years and especially last year 20 and a half 20 and a half just seems it's just too much It's just too much for me. This is almost how I felt about the Ohio State and Nebraska game, where it's just like, could could they score more? Could they win by more than that? Yeah, but, you know, it's just, it's it's way too much for me. I I think this is going to be more of like a 13-point victory by Alabama, something like that. 20 and a half is just too much for me. So I'll, I'll take the Razorbacks here. I'll take the Pigs. The Hogs, you could say. Um, here, here's my thing. Could say. You, you could <laughs> say that. Um, I, I, this is not Look the best. Started. This is not the best Alabama team we've seen over the past 
decade. Um, they're by Alabama standards subpar. Now that being said, Alabama standards are still insanely high. It's still insanely high. Uh, and I think Arkansas is one of the most fake good teams we've had all year. Um, I, I don't know why. Yes, I do. It's SEC. I don't know why we keep thinking this is a, a good team. They're not. They lost to Ole Miss, who is eh. They lost to Auburn, has no business, also no business being ranked all year. Uh, they didn't score a single point against Georgia. They only scored 10 points against Texas A&M. I, I don't know why we, they, they went to overtime against a terrible LSU team. Yeah. I, it, th this uh, isn't me trying to pump up Alabama as much as this is me saying, why the hell is Arkansas even ranked? I, I, I don't get it. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll take Bama even at 20 points. I think they win this by as many points as they feel like winning it by that. That's okay. it's, um, and this Auburn gets the pick or excuse me, Alabama gets to pick their score here. Um, Austin asks, what's the percentage chance of Alabama losing the game that night? Of well, Arkansas pulling the upset. Oh man. 10%. I was going to say like 15. No, I, I feel like 10 is generous. Honestly, I feel like I'm being really generous to Arkansas when I say 10. Okay. I feel like Jared. I feel like that's insanely generous. Uh it is in Alabama. Mm -hmm. Kyle, is it time it is for an ad read? Alabama. Yeah. Yeah, it is time for ad read. So let's go ahead and hear it, Jared, from our good friends over at the Iron Bean Coffee Company. Yeah, sure. Let's talk about the Iron Bean Coffee Company. Um, told you already this is a marine owned company, a veteran owned company. Um, all of their beans, fair trade certified USDA organic. They're based out of Perrysburg, Ohio, which is near Toledo. Um, Christmas is just around the corner. You want to give maybe a loved one the gift that keeps on giving? Do you, do you know the exact type of coffee maybe that they like? Well, then you can sign them up for a subscribe and save service. That keeps them in the coffee business for 12 months. You, you save a couple bucks a bag by buying it in the subscribe and save service. Uh, so you're setting up your loved one with fresh roasted, fresh ground. If you choose to have it ground, you can get it whole bean or ground and you can set up your loved one all year with fresh coffee all year. It, I'm going to say it again. I already said it like three times during the sad read. I'm going to say it one more time. It's the gift that keeps on giving, right? Every, every month they go and they open up a new present from you from iron bean coffee company, but from you every single week think about how awesome that would be set up your loved one with a subscribe and save service but maybe maybe you don't know what kind of coffee they like maybe they're real particular about their coffee well iron bean offers you gift cards that's right they offer you some gift cards you can buy them instead a uh, a gift card maybe that would cover that cost of the coffee all year round and then say hey go pick your own damn coffee you picky bastard and that's what you can do over at ironbeancoffee.com. That is Iron Bean Coffee, America's local coffee roaster. This episode is also brought to you by our good friends over at the Mad Canadian Barbecue Company. Um, mentioned Hi, earlier that they will be that they will be at the OLC Shrine Cafeteria next Thursday, four to seven, for some barbecue and, and bingo. Well, let's hear from some um, testimonies who've had some of that delicious barbecue from the Mad Canadian Barbecue Company. Uh, we got one here saying that they had the brisket sandwich with the barbecue sauce and was the best they've ever had. Brisket was hot and juicy, barbecue sweet. It was, excuse me, was sauce was sweet, but not too sweet. And the portions was no other, very generous, like his beard. Uh, and oh my, it was amazing. Um, said their significant hunter had ribs and they loved it too. Um, good, good potato salad and baked beans. Um, you, you get the picture. Great, great food that the Mad Canadian has to offer. So put away your, your dinner plans, head on over to the OLC Shrine Cafeteria 
next Thursday, 4 to 7, for some barbecue and bingo. And be sure to hit up his social media for more information about him and his food truck and where he'll be heading to next. Madikini Barbecue Company, who are the official barbecue of the Cary High School Blue Devils. Austin's going nuts down the chat there, and I appreciate it. Um, Austin said, by the way, that he got some of the Bananas Foster from Iron Bean Coffee Company, and he said this, he says it is, quote, the best coffee I have ever had. So there you guys best go. Coffee, best coffee, best barbecue. <laughs> Can't go wrong with either. Uh, All right, Jared, let's, let's move on, on here. Let's, also, let's move on your, here. Oh. We, we have a quick question uh, from Buckeye Zach asking what is the what is the best dark roasted delight for the yuletide um if if you're looking for a dark roast that is i mean if you a flavored coffee it's not going to be dark roast they have the white chocolate peppermint uh so if you're looking for something christmasy that's their christmas um that's their christmas flavor uh but if you're looking for something dark uh that is maybe a bit christmasy i'd go with the drink from the skull of your enemy um, it's creamy, chocolatey notes of cedar, tobacco, wine, and spice, I think is going to be your Christmas roast. All right, Kyle, uh, we have a couple okay. more games to do. Let's do those. What is Absolutely. One we got next? So next up here, something like almost that, Austin. Pack 12 arc, almost, almost pack 12 off for dark here, but we got Oregon taking on the Utah Utes. 7.30 kickoff. And interesting here, Jared, the Utes, Utah is a three and a half point favorite in this game. That is right. That is right. Oregon, the number two team in the country, allegedly, um, is a three and a half point dog to Utah? Barely ranked number 23 in the country, three loss Utah. Why? Excuse me, number three in the country. Uh, I, I keep forgetting they have Bama falsely ranked as number two. I, I don't like I don't like the committee. I don't like the committee. I don't like their rankings. Uh, they're number two in the Sloopcast rankings, Austin. And really, those are the rankings that matter here. So, Kyle, can, I have a good explanation for you as to why Oregon number three team in the country, or number two, according to the Sloopcast rankings, why they are ranked number three in the committee, but they are a three and a half point dog to three loss Utah. I have a theory. It's a night game in Utah. No. And, and, and that's where the Herb Street special is at? No. Okay. The Pac-12 sucks. There it is. All right, tell me more, Jared. <laughs> um, Oregon did just lose a wide receiver to the transfer portal. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily playing into this game a lot, but it, it is a thing that just happened. Uh, Utah struggled early. Uh, has been on a bit of a streak as of late. They completely embarrassed Stanford, a team that Oregon lost to. Granted, that was a while ago uh, for for Oregon. Um, Oregon has I, I maybe not been winning overly impressively lately. Um, if you look at some of their recent wins, Washington State, a bad team, um, they they I believe they were tied going into halftime uh, and then they end up winning the game by 14 points, which is fine. Uh, they only win by 10 points over a Washington team that lost to an FCS school this this year, um, played a close game against California and UCLA. They did demolish Colorado after those games um, and the Stanford loss before that. Like, it's just not. I don't know. I they they keep winning and you have to give them credit for keep winning, but they keep winning over a a a really bad, a really very bad Pac-12 conference. And I th I just feel like maybe Utah's it. Maybe this is it. Uh that being said, I'm going to pick the underdog. I'm going to pick the underdog. I I just like this is a uh go go with the underdog sort of game for me. Um 
So if you're going to give me three and a half points to pick the number three team in the country, I'm going to take that. Like, it's just, it's just silly not to, right? Um, so I'm, I mean, I am going to pick, I am going to pick Oregon here, but yep. and I, I, Utah, I, Utah has a great chance to win, but they have to win and cover, but Utah, I think, I think pulls the upset here. Yeah, I got, I got, I got Oregon to cover here. I'm just, I was just going to go with the better team in, in this instance here. Uh, I, I think uh, Austin brought up a good point here. Can Oregon beat Utah twice? And yes, that, that can easily be the case here where Utah wins their division and can play Oregon again. So yeah, that'll be really interesting. If, if, if Oregon would win here, then maybe Utah could pull up the upset in the, in the Pac-12 championship. Yeah, that'd be worth it's it's hard to do. It's it's really hard to do. Worth noting that this game is in Utah, it being played in Salt Lake City, and that this is in college football, the the home field advantage is typically worth about three and a half points. So I think what Vegas sure. is telling us here is that this game on a neutral site would potentially be a pick'em, might be a half point swing in one direction or the other i I think it's i think it's a game utah can win i think it's a game utah can win easily um if this were a pick them if this were a half point in one direction or the other i would pick utah but Mm, i'm just i'm just i'm not going to walk away from a three and a half point buffer if vegas is going to offer it to me yeah hey we totally missed sun card picking the the other game here, Alabama and Arkansas. Oops. So why don't you read that one? Why don't you read that one as well as the Oregon and Utah? Uh, he picks Arkansas in Bama versus Arkansas to cover. He says every team is in the SEC is a world better is a world beater because hey, it just means more, right? I'm pretty sun card. I got that tone correct, right? Like I I, I nailed the tone on that one. I think I think I did. Uh, and then Oregon, he pick, uh, Oregon versus Utah. He picks Oregon. Oregon stays alive for another week. All right. Awesome. All right. I'm um, going back to my notes here real quick. Sorry about that. Here we go. Uh, so the next game we have here, Jared, is Oklahoma State taking on Texas Tech. I think we're kind of running out of out of games to pick here, Jared, if you're picking Oklahoma state and Texas tech here. Uh, yeah, this is a late, late, yeah. late game here. Eight o'clock where the Cowboys are a 10 and a half point favorite. Kyle, um, you know, you, you said you've been kind of what, who, who did you say you kept missing on picks because you weren't believing, but they kept getting you. Did you say it was Pittsburgh? Yes. Yeah. To, for me this year, that team's been Oklahoma State. I've I've kept doubting them. I've kept not believing in them, and they've they've kept biting me on the sloop picks over and over and over again. Uh, what makes this easy is that Texas Tech is legitimately just like very bad. I think they're very very bad. Um, they they play basically no defense. Um, it, they're giving up four hundred yards a game. Uh, Oklahoma state on the other hand, probably has the best defense in the big 12. That's been keeping them in a lot of games this year. Uh, that defense ultimately is, yeah, yeah. Yes. Austin best, best defense in the big 12 is a low bar. Great. Well, to be fair too, to be fair too, like the most they've ever given up in a game here. And I'm looking at their, yeah. their stats here, the most points and this might surprise a lot of people. It's 24 points. That's the most they've ever given up so far this year is 24 points. Right. And meanwhile, Texas Tech gave up 38 points to, to Iowa State just last week. Um, they gave they gave up 52 points to TCU just last week, a team that Oklahoma State held to 17 points just last week. Uh, no, they, the TCU-Texas Tech game was like five games ago for texas tech but um yeah i'm i'm picking oklahoma state to win this and i pick them to win it by more than 10 points not a lot more than 10 points um i i see this is like a 
36 to 20 game maybe it's about 36 to 20 so it's not it's not a, a comfortable win and cover but i think it's a win and cover yeah i agree I, th- I think they'll win by like two touchdowns here i think they'll texas tech will make it interesting to a degree but oklahoma state more than two scores more than 10 points yeah i'll, t- I'll take pick the cowboys in orange here to to cover Austin, and, what the uh, hell are and, you talking so, about? I don't have any yellow on my shirt. <laughs> are you calling me a coward? And and Suncard here has Oklahoma State as his pick and says he has no faith in Texas Tech. And that's it's true, too. Yeah, yeah it, it's totally fair. And ultimately kind of what I said. I mean, to be fair. <laughs> yes. Um. Yeah, that's uh, and Kyle. You said we were running out of games to pick, and 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 you you weren't wrong. That's our last game. Um, hey, Austin, since you've been holding down the chat for us on this late night recording, you got okay. Yeah, he he wants everyone to know he's Team Kyle. Um, you, you want me to play Vapors again? I just played him. You want me to do it again? Uh, okay. All right. You know what, Austin? That's not even the question I was going to ask you. But I'll do it. <laughs> I'll still do it for you. Um, well, I'm, I'm gonna I was going to ask if you have it. any. I was going to ask if you had any like last second ask Sloopcast questions that you maybe wanted to throw <laughs> us throw our way. You can go playoffs. You well, can go anything national scope. Well, I was going to also while he's writing this up here. Is there any ups, other upsets that you can see in this? this week here jared if you're if you're looking at if you're looking at the this the um schedule for this week do you see any other kind of upsets that could happen that you could happen here i mean depending upon what you mean by upset right because technically if you ask vegas utah beating oregon is not an upset but let's let's, per the polls let's, let's just Yes, let's go by the polls here. Okay. I think the, the the absolute first game you have to look at, especially from a significance standpoint, a, a team that's currently in the playoffs losing, it would have to be Utah beating Oregon. I think that is your best chaos opportunity of the week by far. That That's your chaos opportunity of the week. And quite frankly, Ohio mm-hmm. State. Like, I know we don't want to talk about it, and I don't think it's going to happen. I picked Ohio State to win by... 20 points in the Thursday episode. I picked them to win and cover, but, and it's not even a huge, it's number seven versus number four. Right. But, but I think, I think Michigan state's a real terrible number seven. If I'm being honest with you, Mm -hmm. Austin says if a team falls, it is likely to be OSU. Now it's still Oregon. Oregon to me is still the number one fall potential. Mm -hmm. absolutely number one i I mean you can disagree with me if you want to disagree with me austin but michigan state is much better than utah yeah well ohio state is much better than oregon and don't even start don't even start with the game that happened two months ago to try and tell me i'm wrong (laughs) Uh, well here's some other interesting ones i'm gonna i'm just gonna throw out you can you can disagree with me if you want to disagree with me austin i'm just saying ask vegas you you can yeah. disagree with me if you want to, but ask Vegas what they think. Ohio State's favored by 20 in one of the games. Oregon is dogged by three and a half in the other one. Ask Vegas. I don't care what Joel Klatt says. All right, let me ask you this one, Jared. Nebraska over Wisconsin? Uh, you know, it's possible. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's a great... I think that's great. Man, why, why didn't you why didn't you do that one, Jared? I thought that, I thought that would have been a great um a great pick um game here. And and this this would be a bonus one here for for me. Wisconsin's favor by 9 points. I'm going to take Nebraska. I'll take Nebraska in that one. Heck, I'd, I'd be I'm almost tempted to say that Nebraska would win this outright. Uh, to be honest with you guys, the reason I didn't pick that one is because I needed a second game for the primetime slot. 
That, I, gotcha. I, I try and space right. them out. I try and so, space them out. All right. So I got Austin here. Uh, what player will be punished out of the Heisman conversation this week due to a bad performance uh, with everything being so touch and go with the front runners? Bad week here knocks you out. I don't even know who the front runners are, to be honest. <laughs> um, I, I think uh, potentially Walker. I don't think he has a great game against Ohio State. Um, and uh, Austin, yeah. So I, I, I think maybe that, maybe that's that's where I would go. Um, <laughs> Walker, I barely know her. Uh, I, I think, I think that's where I go. I just, and I don't even think it's his fault, to be honest with you. I don't even think, I don't think it's Kenneth Walker's fault. Uh, I just, I think Michigan State gets behind early i think it's behind i think michigan state just gets behind early and they just don't it, it they move away from the game plan that features running kenneth walker as much as he would need to have a great game mm -hmm. yeah. any chance the razorbacks give young trouble yeah the chance exists um to me i would be more aware of that happening next week and the week after than I would be Arkansas. I'm, I'm, you know, I, I, I think Alabama. I, I, I can't believe I'm going to say this. I'm convinced Alabama loses to Georgia. I'm convinced of it at this point. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I think, I think it's for this week. I think it's. Uh, <laughs> I Kenneth know hot Walker. take, Austin. I think it's Kenneth Walker who will take the biggest plunge here because I mean, one, the running back. This is pretty much right. Almost solely, this is almost solely a quarterback um, trophy here. But looking at other names here, maybe, maybe it's Caleb Williams finally um, getting out of that conversation here. Shouldn't it have been in here to begin with? Yeah, I I think he. Well, I think his he got he literally got benched last week. I think his Heisman disaster was was last week um yeah austin uh says that nebraska might be the best three to four win team in college football history i said the same thing on twitter just today austin i, I actually said the exact same thing on twitter today um yep they're like if you go look at their team stats like where they rank in the country pass offense pass defense run offense run defense um yeah, they're they're Nebraska is an amazing football team under the scope that they've only won three three games so far. With that in consider, yeah, they, they could be seven and three. They really could. Ohio State is still to this date. Ohio State is their worst loss. It is their only loss to a team by more than a score. And it's nine points. All of their losses except Ohio State. Could have been tied at the end with a single score. Well, a single score plus a two-point, it's a touchdown plus a two-point conversion. You know what I'm saying? Um, no, exactly. They literally have not lost by double digits. Exactly. Yep. And that's why I said, like, in this this game here where Wisconsin was favored by nine. Yeah. yeah exactly that reason right there, Jared. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, Bo bonus sloop pick Kyle and I, and I'll, I'll even include sun card on this too. Uh, Kyle and I bo both pick Nebraska to at least cover against Wisconsin. Yep. Uh, and, and you know what? Austin joined us in on that as well. Yes. All right, Darren, uh, we I think that's two all the guest pickers. We have, uh, we have two guest pickers next week for reasons. I'll explain next week on, on, on the Friday show. So Kyle, uh, I right. think that's it. That's, that's, uh, that's it we're going to do for the show tonight we are both very tired and are going to go to bed um, <laughs> um do you have any i i'm not uh, discord we have a discord server join it or you're lame there that's my thing kyle do you have anything in kyle's corner um a little bit of basketball news here i State suffered their their first loss um tonight as we're recording here they lost to xavier 71 to 65 it just a just struggling. It's just a struggling Ohio State team, and so far early on here. And I'm just 
man, like, especially that first game, I just, I feel like this might be a long season for the Buckeyes here. I hope I, I'm hope I'm wrong here, but, but man, there, there's got to, there's, you got to get somebody else other than um, EJ Liddell to be your, your scorer here. Yeah. For a team that is very veteran, they're also very young. Um, two of their veterans are new to the team. Um, it's, uh, Austin says Kyle Young needs to be more involved in the offense. I think he made some good plays tonight. Um, I think Ohio State needs to learn to play together as a unit. And I, I think despite some some mistakes down the line, <laughs> Uh, despite some mistakes on the line, I think I think Michi made some strides in his development for what is us tonight. Um, so I, the young guys have to sort of come into the game. Uh, they 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 need to adapt to the game. They need some experience. I think I think I think Michi will probably be that second scorer that you're looking for, Austin. Um, I, I think he has loads of potential, but I also think he's mistake prone because of course he is. He's not, he's not very experienced. Yeah. Um, he made a couple I mean, mistakes at the end of the game that proved incredibly costly. Uh, he says, I wish Arns or, uh, Arns was consistent. I wish he could play defense. That's what I yeah. wish. I mean, and, and the Buckeyes are just, they're hurting right now with uh, suing possibly all year. <laughs> We'll see, but you may you may have suing out um, the rest of the year. Uh, Seth Towns is still recovering, and Kyle Young just isn't himself right now, too. So it's a it's a it's a very injured uh, team right now. They they have the depth to, yeah. I'm I'm not going to give them that. I'm I I think Kyle Young is 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 fine. I think he had I think he had a, a fairly good game. I think they I think Kyle Young had a fairly good game and I think the team has depth. I'm I I don't want to give them that out, Kyle. I I maybe I'm just not as nice as you, but I don't feel like giving them that out. All right, no worries. All, all right. right. So that's 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 all I have, Jared. All right, uh by by Austin's request, uh we're going to play Playing to Vapors for the second straight night cuz hey, why not, right? Why not? So we're doing that uh, I don't know which song I'm playing yet because I was planning on playing a different song tonight, but Austin uh, was carrying our live chat at th this late hour. So uh, he said, hey, play this band. And I'm like, OK. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. We're playing playing to Vapors for the second straight night. And with all of that being said, I'd like to. Oh, you want me to play Whisper? All right. We're, we're doing song request. We're now. E Austin. You're lucky I like it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Jared D J Dare G J. It doesn't work. I, I it was a nice try, Austin. It doesn't work. So yeah, this is Whisper by Playing to Vapors. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Whispers by Playing to Vapors. Mm -hmm. 